guest, however, is a very talented entertainer. He's a fantastic magician, a very good friend of the show. Please welcome Jason Randall, everybody. Jason Randall. <laughs> Craig. Jason, Jason, you, you are you are the, the greatest close-up magic guy that has ever lived, I think we'll agree. I'm not going to agree with that. All right, okay. But, well, never <laughs> I, uh, Let's not fight. But there's the, the, the... What I wanted to ask you about, before we do any of the magic tricks that you're, you know, so famous for, is that you're a pilot. I, I am. No, you know I'm taking lessons. I heard you? about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have 50 hours now. In a, not all at the same time. Right. Uh, but I have 50 hours now in an airplane. Because you have to go to the bathroom. I do. <laughs> You, you laugh, not often, but you do. And yeah, the, the, that's the thing about when you're up there in a little plane, they, you sometimes, it's not like you can pull into a gas station. No. What do you do? Well, some pilots use a little jar. All right. But they actually... I, I would have to use a big jar. <laughs> I'm Scottish. <laughs> So listen, you, uh, you're, a, you're a flying instructor, you're a certified flying instructor, right? I am, I've been teaching for years. And you're, you're, the, you're a gold medal flying instructor? What is that? That's like the super top... Uh... Yeah, I'm a, uh, a NAFI, a master flight instructor, and, right. and a gold seal, right. uh, which means uh, really that you have a really high pass rate to get the gold seal of your students. Well, so, that, you know what, I could, uh, I'm not saying anything against my flying instructor, he's very nice, but you could maybe take me up in your plane and we could, you know, fly around about, you could teach me stuff. I, I, I could be your little buddy. We could uh, solve <laughs> crimes. We could solve crimes. We go on a little plane and we'll fly around the country solving mysteries. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Yeah, wouldn't that be great? We, we just land and say, uh, who wants to solve a murder? Yeah, Something yeah, like that. Yeah, we just that. go, oh, I think there's been a murder here, Jason. And you could have a catchphrase like, I don't like the look of this, Craigie, or something. I like it already. <laughs> Good. I like it. And then you would do uh, magic tricks, you know, to fool the villains. As a cover for us. Right, right. As a cover. We're flying, the flying magicians who solve crimes. I said, one of them isn't a magician and right. can't fly. You could pretend to be a talk show host. I pretend to be a magician. Well, I'm pretending tonight for sure. <laughs> What's the, uh, what, well, let's do a trick then. What, have you got a trick for us tonight? I, I do. Here's the interesting thing. You know, a lot of magicians, right. uh, you know, people ask me, I think the most common question is, how did you get into magic? Right. How did you get started? Did, should I have asked you that? No, oh, you, right. you don't need to. <laughs> because you don't ask common questions. You're a, right. You're, I asked you how you go to the bathroom. And <laughs> I'm so proud. The Tiffany Network rises again. <laughs> I think it's weird to get into magic, but what happened was I, I was in school getting a degree in psychology right. and I was a karate instructor for a living I and I met a guy who was in school getting a teaching degree and, uh -huh. he, and he was a magician for a living and he said to me, why don't we trade magic lessons for karate lessons? I thought, Is great idea. Is this a movie or it really happened? <laughs> it really happened. Right, okay. It really happened. And so I was thinking, you know, we know that magicians have fast hands, Craig. Right. And we know that karate guys have fast hands. That's true. And so, some other guys have fast hands too. <laughs> exactly. And I was thinking, how can I put the two together? In fact, I brought you a little clip of the karate move I'm going to show you in right. this trick tonight. Okay, that, can well, we see that? Let's do a clip of the karate clip. It's just you doing... That's a nice top you're wearing. Yeah. That... Nice. That's... Wow, yeah, if a guy did that to me in a bar, I'd run a mile. <laughs> you know, when I Towards made that... him. <laughs> I, I actually went to the bathroom when I made that sound. <laughs> so here's how this is going to work. Right. I'm going to take the four aces, Craig, and I'm right. going to put them... There's going to be your side of the desk and my side of the desk. Right. I'm going to put them down just like this, okay? And we're going to put these right here on your side. I'll just okay. turn them up. Now, I'm going to spread the cards out until you say stop. You just say whatever card you like. Stop. On the seven? Uh, why not? Take the seven, right. and with my pen, sign your name on it so we know that I'm not using a duplicate. Right, okay. The full, full name? Sure, whatever. All right, then. Craig, and I'll, put, I'll just put Craig in a little okay. case. That way I can't sell it on, on eBay. Right. Now, what's going to happen is I'll take your seven of spades, and when I put it here, I want you to put your hand on top of the cards so I can't get to them. All right, there you go. Now I want you to slide the cards off of the desk, up, and into your pocket. All right. Will I, will I do some kind of magician-y face while I'm doing it? Now, here's the move. Do you remember on the video when I went like this? I'm still doing it. All right. Hang on, I'm just helping myself while I'm here. All right. Got it? Yeah. I'm going to go like this. When you count to three, I'm going to reach into your pocket and try to take out just... In fact, mix them around so even you don't know which card is assigned. I, when... I don't already. Oh, I don't. Right, right, right. No need then. Right, okay. 
when you count to three, right. I'm going to reach inside and try to take the card out of your pocket. Right. Which pocket did you put it in? Your and shirt then, or then, your... In the shirt. In oh, the, in the, the jacket. Jacket, jacket pocket. I was thinking the shirt. The jacket's going to be harder. But right. I'm, I'm up for the challenge. Oh, Here we I go. knew you were coming. Here we All go. Right. One. Oh, you're going to count, not me. Oh, I'm, I, I, I You're going to count to three and I'll reach in and take it. Okay. But, and put your hand like this and, and try to stop me when I go into your jacket. All right. Ready? Right. One. <laughs> I bet they'd never allow this in the Virgin Islands. Uh, one, two, three! Do you, was that a nipple ring? Hey! Do you believe, Craig, that I... I'm still wearing my... <laughs> Me too. <laughs> do you believe that I've reached into your jacket and taken out the selected card? I do not, sir. I do not believe it. I would have felt a man's hand in my jacket. I would know that sensation if I ever felt it. <laughs> Usually you have to pay for that. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. no so, so, did, you, did you get the card? Reach inside, pull out all the cards you've got. All right. I'll stand back here so I don't touch it. That's any. all the cards. I, I have no other cards. Just None the four aces? No, I, I got a little bit of paper in here as well. Hang on. I don't know what that says. Inspected by number 12. Uh, no, I don't know who that's from. Sorry. <laughs> Looked like a phone number to me. No, anyway, no, no, it's anyway, just a grocery list. Uh, <laughs> no, I just got the four aces. So the sign card is actually gone. Uh, yes, yeah, where is it? A lot of people wonder where it is. I, I'm wondering right now. <laughs> You're wondering what happened to 2005. Yeah. But inside of my jacket. <laughs> Inside of my jacket, I have a black wallet. Inside right. the black wallet, Craig, I have a zippered compartment. Inside the zippered compartment, I have a sealed envelope. I want you to rip it open. Right, I will. I'm ripping it open right and now. Look on the other side. There's your right. name and the date. Late, late show was Greek for January 3rd, 2008. Oh, no, that is creepy. Your sign that is seven creepy. of spades. Look at that. Look at that. That is awesome. Thank you. That is really awesome. We are, we are, we are, we are out of time, Jason. Come back and see us very soon. Love to. Thanks. All right. Uh, Jason Randall, everybody. We'll be right back.